Hello fellow humans, uh, you join me today on a journey to Bright, which is a cute little Australian town in regional Victoria. It's super vibey, it's so cute and I absolutely adore it. I have been there a few times, but you know, can't wait to take you there. Okay, so we've stopped for like a little snack break. Um, but when I went to the bathroom, this like little girl told me that she thought my dress was really pretty. So like now I'm super giddy with happiness. Uh, so we've uh, stopped to fill up on some gas. Um, my brother and my mom have gone to get some ice cream from Macca's and there is a fly inside, which I'm very annoyed about and I'm going to have to try and air it out. Um, my dad's paying for the gas, so I think the job for me is to try and get this vermin out of the car so we can actually enjoy the rest of our drive to Bright.
we arrived in Bry. Um, we had a walk around the town that was really fun and we got some ice cream from Woolies. Honestly, Woolies are like Coles and like other places are always like so cute. But yeah, we've been having fun. We're just gonna chill here for a bit. Mom's gonna have lunch. We're probably gonna have lunch a little bit later, but then, you know, it's all cool. loud here um but it is really quite warm out um when i say really quite warm i mean it's kind of hot so i'm just gonna sit by the river and i'm just gonna dip my feet in because my toes are aching i don't know if that's because like my shoes are too small or something but like my pinky toes are getting absolutely destroyed right now so i'm just gonna like cool off my feet in the river and i'm just gonna like take in the very tranquil but loud uh vibes of this beautiful river i have no idea if you can hear me at all right now and also like this phone is like right above the river and i'm really 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 scared to drop it in but there is a lifeguard over there in case i slip and fall and you know like get swept up in the river um but i don't know if he's allowed if he's gonna come and save me here because the red and yellow uh lifeguard flags are over there where he's obviously lifeguarding so um it might just be the end if I slip and fall here, so I'm trying to be very, very careful. I'm walking around barefoot right now because, as is everyone else, the thing is that because there's like a lot of water involved, there's like a little bridge that's made out of wood. Um, but because wood probably gets really slip, yes, wood does get really slippy. They've added like this sort of me metal grill thing onto it, which makes it really, really hot. So it is like a little bit difficult to walk around barefoot, but there is a lot of water nearby. So the tip, sorry, I saw someone looking at me and I couldn't like finish saying the sentence. So the tip to walking around barefoot around bright is to just take a dip into the, take your feet, dip in, dip them in the water, make them all wet, then walk away because then your feet are going to dry within seconds, but at least you'll be cool for like that extra 30 seconds to get back to your place. There's so many people here. Yeah. right now um and you know we're just gonna go on our journey back home grab some dinner here or there we don't know if we're actually gonna find anything because a couple of years ago that was christmas day though but we were going to stop to eat something but then we're like oh no there's like a restaurant up ahead but there wasn't a restaurant up ahead that was open so we kind of just like went the whole trip hungry it was an adventure though so you know either way it's a win-win So we've uh, 
stopped at a Macca's on the way. Oh, is this a Macca's we usually stop at? It's got like that same sort of decoration, but that's on the other way that we usually stop at. But we have stopped at Macca's for ice cream because earlier in the day we did not actually obtain the ice cream that my brother wanted. Um, I hope we get it now. It almost feels like we won't get it, but like just a hunch. But good news, I parked the car and now it may seem that I'm like excited about parking the car, but like I've never parked this car before and I really don't know, like I'm not spatially aware in this car, which is why I'm mostly just driving on like freeways and stuff. So yeah, I saw people there in the parking lot and I freaked out, so I ran. Um, but I'm gonna finish off the story for you now, but usually I drive a different car, which is smaller and I'm more spatially aware in that and I'm more like used to that but I'm not really like used to driving this bigger car so it's like really difficult for me to put in like turns and stuff with it so I always just like drive on straight roads and then we arrived at this server and I was like hmm, seems kind of familiar and yes this is the last server we stopped off at on our Sydney to Gold Coast on our Melbourne to Sydney to Gold Coast trip but this was specifically on our way from Sydney to Melbourne on the last leg and yeah it's interesting seeing how different it is during the daytime because last time it was night and raining when we stopped here. this travel video it is a bit late for christmas time but i do hope that everyone enjoyed their holidays all of their holidays and you were able to celebrate whatever you celebrate as happily and as joyously as you could on that note i hope that you're having a good day i hope you continue to have a good day and i will see you next time